Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel again, the Bo Page. So today we'll be talking about this another important topic: uh, setting up MySQL DB onto the cluster and uh, doing that monitoring using Grafana. But before getting to the details of this topic, uh, there's a quick playlist that you can go through uh, the Grafana playlist. Here we have 11 videos to understand about the end-to-end -end Grafana setup and doing multiple things like Jira integration doing lock key logs, tracing for tempo, and then certain exporter. And finally, doing this, you know, AWS Cognito authentication for managing, managing the users of admin, editor, and viewer. And finally, we did, you know, black box exporter in the last you know, session. So if you want to like and subscribe to this channel, please do that so that you can get similar kind of videos related to Grafana and Kubernetes and on the same channel, like, okay. Quickly moving on to the today's topic, we'll be first of all uh, doing the MySQL DB installation onto the cluster and then we'll integrate this mysql with grafana so can so that we can see all the data which is presented as a db in the form of tables directly in grafana and ultimately we'll be installing a mysql exporter uh, prometheus community exporter which will track and you know monitor your mysql database in an automatic fashion and then finally we'll add certain uh, dashboards to monitor that piece with the help of you know uh, you know gui and on top of it we can definitely set up alerts uh, so that uh, your uh, KPIs are up and running every time. So this is all about theory of this. Let's quickly see the uh, the practical aspects of it. I have a, a GitHub page for this. You can simply come here and get into this GitHub page. This is my GitHub page for this MySQL Grafana. You can follow it and just run it on your any of the cluster, whether Minikube or any other cloud-related cluster. So let's see what are the steps in this. So first of all, we need to definitely install uh, you know MySQL database onto the cluster. I'm using this Bitnami Helm chart. So you can add this report to your repository if it is not there. So all these steps are fairly straightforward. I'm just installing my MySQL using this repository, which I recently upgraded. Okay, I am installing into my current namespace where I'm I'm located. Uh, I mean, where I'm pointed out. So currently, I'm into uh, metrics namespace. So you can see this has been installed. And let me see the checking of it. KGP. I can see the MySQL pod is running, and there's no and there's a service also running pertaining to this pod. Some chart has been upgraded, so you can see uh, this has been upgraded today only. You know, third revision and there's a service which is there the cluster ip service fine so this is just a uh, you know, vanilla installation of mysql but first of all let's see the uh, let's get into the container before getting into the container we need to see the secret because there are certain secrets that are created with installation of mysql so this is the root id mysql and the root password so let's gather this piece because this would be required for logging into the mysql I'll take this and then I'll do a base 64 decode. And I'll copy this piece somewhere, maybe into a notepad. Now, this is a MySQL password, root password, and user is root. Okay, now I'll just get into the MySQL container. Now, this is my container. Now, I'll just do a, a login. To this container okay so i'm inside the container now i'll do a login of this mysql minus u is nothing but your user this is the user id minus p is the password which i just copy pasted you i'll do paste now inside the container i'll just see how many databases are there? The default databases. Okay, I can just use one of the databases like this. Now I'll see how many tables are there in this MySQL. And then I'll do a select star from user summary. Okay, so there are default tables and database that we can use it for our testing purpose. So let me come out of it. Exit exit okay so my first step is done i can see the tables are successfully installed i mean the mysql is successfully installed and i'm able to see the data also now let me install the grafana so that i can 
do the integration of this MySQL uh, with Grafana. This is a very popular Q Prometheus stack installation onto the cluster. So all these things are already there. Matrix is already there. I'll just uh, run this piece to install Grafana onto the cluster. I'll come here. I just run this piece. And this will install my Q Prometheus stack Helm chart with release name called as Grafana. Next piece, we will just simply do the MySQL exporter installation that will expose all the MySQL related matrices uh, to to do you know to an endpoint, and then we'll configure that endpoint into the Grafana. So yeah, let me see the Helm release for this Grafana. Yeah, the second revision, uh, revision deployed just now. You can see it. Yeah, the date timestamp you can clearly. Perfect. So Grafana is there. MySQL is there. Let me install the MySQL exporter also. That will just expose all the DB related matrices. Now this is there. I'm just doing a repo add. Okay. Now before installing this MySQL exporter, if you remember the golden rule of for this, we need to have the service monitor enabled as true. For all the Prometheus based exporter, so that it will create a service monitor and additional labels to release to Grafana. This will make sure that this exporter is being catched by the Grafana installation. So, this is the third separate installation I am doing. First was doing MySQL installation, second was Grafana, third is MySQL exporter, which will actually send all the metrics to Grafana. So, that's the reason. Now, first section, which is again very, very important, I want to read the data from my MySQL DB, which is being installed on first step. Now, uh, definitely, I need to give certain host name. Password is the same root password which I just copied it, and then port is three three zero six. Now you can see what is this host name. Now this is a uh, load balancer uh, service IP. Let me show you the service. Now this service is currently running in a cluster IP. Okay, so let me edit this service and made it to a load balancer so that we will get an IP. Okay, so I have edited this. Now I've got this IP. This is the external IP, the load balancer IP. Since I'm using mini queue processor, so it has assigned the same IP which was assigned earlier. Okay, so this is the uh, user root. This is the uh, root ID password. This is the host name and this is the port. So basically, this exporter will connect to this database using these values and will send the uh, data to the Grafana using this configuration. Uh, you know, with the service monitor enabled as true. This is very important to understand because this point is doing your integration with Grafana. So let me just install this piece. Basically, this is the third Elm chart. I'm going to install it onto my machine. And I'll check the Helm release version for this. So this is currently second. Yeah, this is installed, and you can see the date timestamp also. Right, right. Okay, perfect. So let's see the service before jumping onto the Grafana. So we have a MySQL service running on load balancer IP. Now we have another uh, exporter service which is capturing all the matrices. So let's see the port forward. This is a MySQL exporter which is pulling all the data from your DB and that we will be using to the uh, Grafana. That will be sending it to Grafana for monitoring perspective. Now, let's quickly see the endpoint for this. Yeah, this is a MySQL D exporter. And this is when you click on the matrices, you will see all the matrices related to the MySQL show tables, all those things. So, this is the detail level of matrices that are going from your cluster to this endpoint. Now, we will configure this endpoint onto the Grafana. Uh, I mean, with the help of this label, it is already going. I'll show you in a while. So, the label you, you this is very, very important piece. If you don't give this label, then Q Prometheus. You know, CRD will not be able to read it. And service monitor enabled equals to true is making sure that service monitor has been created. Right. Perfect. So let's let quickly jump on to the let me show you the service monitor also. So this is that service monitor that has been created uh, you know recently and this is responsible for sending it to 
let me show you the importance of that label so this service monitor is actually having this label which is actually reading your service and then sending it metric from metric endpoint to the uh, grafana endpoint perfect so let's quickly see the final piece the grafana thing a port forward uh, i'm just forwarding the grafana port and i'll just log in the grafana i'm doing this thing pretty slowly because it's very important to understand we are doing it let me talk out admin password is again same from operator prom so you can change this password by looking at my previous videos but yeah for now just keep it like this fine so i'll go to the export store mode and then i'll see what all jobs are coming there would be one job uh, related to your uh, uh, mysql exporter we'll see it let's do it for yeah so you can see this mysql exporter yeah this is the one right so this is that job that is coming and sending all the matrices to uh, this, this grafana fine so let's do the final piece let's import the dashboards now for dashboards uh, you can simply go to this documentation uh, documentation provider so this dashboard will help you to understand the data so i'll import the dashboard this id okay it's already there good so i'll just type my sql i've already imported this dashboard you can simply import it and you can see the data is coming see the moment you import the dashboard all, all your mysql stats are coming properly let me delete it in front of you and then you can import it again so that it becomes real clear fine so i'll just import the dashboard again port and one four see this is the exported dashboard which is showing your uptime of 36 minutes you know in no db buffer pool current qf mysql connections thread count all these things are coming you can customize this dashboard as for your need as well now there's another dashboard that is being provided by grafana open source community which is this one the mysql overview so this also you can just simply import select the prometheus data source and then you can see the data uptime is 1.1 hour you know and all the other aspects of it and from where you can get all these dashboards again i provided the link so this is the dashboard i'm talking about right mysql exporter and the other one is mysql overview so you don't need to do anything fancy you need to just copy paste this dashboard id and then import into the uh, you know, cluster so potentially we did all only four steps to make this happen up and running you can see first of all we installed mysql in our database i'll show you the helm chart finally so first of all we install uh, mysql database independently right and then we install grafana independently do these two independent entity and then the third we did this integration using mysql exporter where we passed mysql uh, credentials to this exporter so that it can communicate to grafana and send matrices so this is the one which is doing all the integration and you can see the value this is just passing the credentials and this is just you know, sending it to grafana and fourth and final is just you know importing the dashboards so yeah just quickly wrapping up wrapping it up again uh, this is again very important topic uh, where you can quickly install a database for a microservices based application and then do plug and play whatever you need and on top of these dashboard you can set up alerts also that is something fairly easy you can follow my alert related videos if you want but yeah so let's wrap it up i mean that is pretty much for today uh, hope you like it if you have any questions and you know queries you can post into the comment section and uh, please like and subscribe the channel so that you can get all these related uh, new concepts related to microservices kubernetes grafana at your doorstep thank you for now thank you bye bye